Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen. On behalf of Victoria and Scott, I'd like to welcome you to the Baker Creek Chalets in the magnificent Canadian Rocky Mountains. I know Victoria and Scott are sincerely honored that their dearest of friends have traveled considerable distances to spend this very special moment with them. From the start, you may have given me many reasons in life. A reason to go back to school and to pursue a passion. From the ground up, you helped build that person I am today. Through all those highs and lows of upgrading in university, you gave me a reason to continue and move forward and push it forward. When you and I faced tragedy and heartache at the sudden loss of one of the most beloved, you gave me reason why it is important to embrace what was rather than live what could have been. Days that are short and cold and dark are just as amazing as the days that are long and bright. And warm as you give me reason to work towards the life or sit back and enjoy the times away. These reasons are embedded in the love we started and built together. These reasons will turn to vows today. Vows that will be easy to keep as they will become part of the core values and beliefs I have. Nearly 15 years ago, in the middle of a baseball diamond, in the pouring rain, you kissed me and stole my heart forever. I have loved you fiercely every day since. We have grown so much together over the years, and I am so incredibly excited to continue our journey as your wife, as we look forward to a lifetime of new adventures. You are my world, my favorite person, my very best friend. And after all this time, I still smile when I think of you. I get butterflies when you come home from work, and I erupt in goosebumps every time you touch me. <laughs> you make me laugh every single day. You are intelligent and driven and compassionate. Whew. I admire your curiosity and your never-ending desire to learn new things. And I absolutely adore your enthusiasm when you proceed to teach me all about the new things that you've learned. I love how you love me. You are the most selfless person that I know, and I will never take for granted your constant efforts to make me happy. Whether it's making the coffee on our lazy football Sundays, dressing up as Prince Charming to deliver an enormous bouquet of flowers. I am so lucky that you chose me. You know every part of me, you truly understand me, and still you love me. Hey, beautiful. You look great. I love your dress. You gonna me? Yeah. Don't make me you look so good for someone that's gonna get second in fantasy football this year. <laughs> <laughs> My vow is that I will never stop loving you and work tirelessly to find and seek forgiveness when times get tough. A vow that I will sit back and look at the beauty that the world has given me. A beauty that is more than the stunning and future wave before me. These vows I will keep close to my heart as they are the reasons I live, the reasons I strive to be better, and the reasons I want to be with you from now until the end. I vow to my love, Victoria, my best friend, my wife, Victoria Evelyn Olson. <laughs> And so I make these vows to you. I vow to respect you and to listen when you speak. 
I vow to celebrate your wins, big, small, and especially fantasy football. <laughs> I vow to finally make you that sandwich, <laughs> to eat all my vegetables, to go to the Boeing Museum with you, and to stop trying to get you to read Harry Potter, <laughs> because I will love it enough for the both of us. I vow to let you nap in peace and even to join you on rare occasions. And lastly, I vow to always be on your team, to stand by your side through the great times and the impossibly hard times, to support your dreams and encourage your passions. You are the love of my life. You and no other. <laughs> and everything that I have is yours. Forever. Now you'll feel no rain. For each of you, a shelter for the other. Now you'll feel no cold. For each of you, is warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness. For each of you, is companion to the eye. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. So go now to your dwelling, drench into the days of your lives together, and may happiness be your companion.